about that. It was old. It was like from the 1920s. I think there was a, the director was German. What's his name? I think it was Fritz something. Yeah, Fritz Lang. Yeah, that's it. He wrote, he did the film Frau in Moan. And that was the movie that introduced the countdown. The 10, 9, 8, 7, 6 that we use whenever we have a rocket black off today. Alma, didn't you tell me a story once about your grandmother? Do you have the model? Could we see the model? So what about you, Barbara? You're from the moon. Do you have any interesting hmm. stories to share? Well, I do have some things to say about the silly idioms that people on the Earth use. I remember when I first came to the Earth and heard all the crazy idioms people had about my planet. The worst was when I heard people talking about the man in the moon. I now know that they were just referring to when some people think they see a man's face on the surface of the moon. But I was furious when I first heard this, since, of course, everyone knows now that there are no men on the moon. It's a planet inhabited deep below its surface by a race of women, like me. I also thought people were being racist when they said things like, once in a blue moon. Now I know that that expression only means that something doesn't happen very often, and people aren't really thinking much about my lovely planet when they say this. I still don't like the expression much, because it subconsciously suggests that we women of the moon aren't very productive. Furthermore, while some of us have a distinctly blue tint, because we live so far below the surface of the planet, our planet is definitely not blue. I wish it was. Blue is a lovely color. But I absolutely hate all these inaccuracies being spread about. On the other hand, I like some of the Earthling expressions, like out of the blue, it means something happened unexpectedly or suddenly. But to me, it always sounds like people are referring to the fact that all peoples and all great ideas were started by my blue ancestors. 
Likewise, I like it when people talk about singing the blues. The blues here refers to a gorgeously rich and thought-provoking music. Unfortunately, earthlings put the most dreadfully sad words to this music. That's crazy. On my planet, to be in a blue mood does not mean to be sad. Moon women, unlike earth women, find feeling blue to be feeling totally and wonderfully alive. I understand all these strange idioms now, and I can use them. So I won't ask for the moon by asking people to stop using these idioms. I will also not moon away my life with wishing that the moon idioms would die. And please don't feel you have to promise me the moon by saying that someday the worst of the idioms will be gone. Really, I don't think the universe should hang the moon and the stars on my race and our wishes. Many moons ago I may have thought that. But now, although I of course still reach for the moon in my daily life because I am ambitious and proud, I sell for much smaller victories when it comes to idioms. For example, I am over the moon any day. I don't hear a moon idiom. Yes. Do you have any special memories or stories or ideas about the moon? I will uh, tell you this story what happened to me at the spaceship I was lost, lost in space with and how I managed to come back. It, it was quite a weird. Oh, hello, Vicky. I'm so pleased that you could come. I have a big problem. Hi. Hi. Oh, what's the matter? Well, I have a problem around here. I'm the captain of this spaceship here, and I cannot find the the way back to my my country it's very difficult because they have a strange language here they use words which i have not been told about so what should i do with them can you help me to translate them i don't know uh, how to direct the the codes in my spaceship what words were they yeah i have one question here it is uh, b over the moon what does that mean? That's one of my problems. Over the moon? Oh, that means to be very, very happy. Absolutely thrilled. Well, I have another question, Vicky, because I also hear this word here, ask for the moon. I really don't understand what it means. They use it all the time. Oh, if somebody asks for the moon, then they ask for something that's completely impossible, something you can't give them. Yeah, I have another question. Some people use once in a blue moon, and I really don't know what that means. Once in a blue moon. I know the color blue and the moon, of course. If something happens once in a blue moon, then it happens extremely rarely. Well, I have a last question here, which I must have before I can get my spaceship to move. They're using a word saying, promise me the moon. What does that mean? Ah, oh, well, if someone promises you the moon, they promise more than they can really give you. It's a promise they can't fulfill because they're promising too much. So never believe anyone who promises you the moon, Jens. Okay, Vicky. That's a very important lesson for me. Thank you very much. I'm very much grateful. Thank you, and I hope I will be able to get my spaceship back to Denmark. Thank you very much. Bye now. Bye bye. Thanks. Wait, two minutes, one minute and counting. How long does it take to go to the moon? Well, I don't know, but I know a good travel agent that can get you there. Welcome to Galactic 
space lines to get to all destinations. I'd like a return ticket to Earth, please. Earth? The planet Earth? Yes. What do you want to go there for? Well, someone said it's an interesting place. Have you been there? Yes, many moons ago. Well, what was it like? It was rainy and wet, very wet, and heavy too, and all that gravity. Oh, dear. You don't want to go to Earth? All that rain will make your parts go rusty. Well, where should I go instead? Have you ever been to the moon? No. You would, you would like it. It's not very crowded at this time of the year, or any time of the year, really. It doesn't rain there? No, no, not at all. Okay. A ticket to the moon, then, please. Sure. Hop in.